Hello. I've been working hard on the Matte Painter plugin to add some cool new features and squash all the bugs. This new release won't be backwards compatible with your existing sessions, so I recommend finishing them before updating. The first new feature is an import from clipboard method. This allows you to import directly from your clipboard and works for things like print screen, Windows Shift S, and even right click copy in a browser. The shortcut for this is Control Shift V. The second new feature is the projection subpanel. Load an image into the camera and click this button to set the scene resolution to match it. Now you can add any object to the scene, position it, and project the image onto it as a texture. It's not perfect, but it can be an extremely fast way to create background assets. Any weird UVs can be fixed by either the clone brush in texture paint mode, or unwrapping the offending UVs and positioning them somewhere else. It's also great when combined with the usual FSpy setup for camera projection. Import your FSpy data, build the geometry out like usual, and just hit project. Gone are the days of subdividing or using UV project modifiers. These projections are also matte painter layers, so you can continue color grading and painting the transparency after the projection. The final new feature is the Use BSDF toggle. When active, matte painter will build a PBR shader tree instead of an emissive one, complete with color ramps for dialing in the roughness and specular channels, and a bump node for added detail. This works for imported images and projections, so have fun building your asset library. I've improved the look and feel of the layer browser and made it more responsive. If you click a layer while in texture paint mode, that layer will become the new active paint layer. You no longer need to tab out into object mode to switch layers. You can also quickly switch to paint mode by selecting the object, holding Ctrl and Shift and left clicking. The make unique function has a new shortcut, Ctrl Shift D. There's a new toggleable option for each layer to combine the painted alpha channel with the image's original alpha. This is useful when importing things like smoke, rain cards or pre-made assets to make use of the original alpha channel while still being able to paint sections in or out. There's a new toggle for bypassing the curves and hue saturation value nodes. This is useful for AB comparison. While in paint mode, you can hide the active paint layer by hitting H and invert the active paint layer mask by hitting Ctrl Shift I. There's also several new tool shortcuts that help speed up the painting workflow. Tab quickly between space and line stroke options with the brush and line tools. The shortcuts for these are B and Shift B. You can also fill the entire paint layer with the foreground color by hitting shift backspace. I've also fixed numerous little bugs and errors and implemented some info pop-ups to help clarify some operators' usages. Finally, I've been noodling around with some advanced selection tools like a box and lasso. These are exceptionally difficult to implement in 3D, and I'm not even sure if they're possible, but it's something I'd definitely love to have in Matte Painter. Thanks everyone, I hope you enjoy the update.